Alright, what's going on guys? So I'm continuing with my Valcam Guide series and right now we're on uh, Skyscraper. I already said theme park there. Jesus. So I'm going to go through three of the bomb sites. I'm going to go through Tea Room, Exhibition and uh, Barbecue. So yeah, let's get straight into it. For the first camp, I'll probably put it in Geisha, generally. And I'll put it under here. Sort of like, just, just in the in the sort of gap there, like that. And then this, like the good thing about this is it can see like under the chair. So if someone jumps in the window, it'll see them under the chair. The main sort of reason I use this cam is for a C4, and obviously as you can see it's quite hidden. So you can use this cam, put a C4 below when someone jumps in and it's a freebie for you. The next cam I'll show you is in Terrace, and it's mainly to watch when people go into into Dragon, uh, to, to Barrel, sorry. So this cam you put in Terrace here, and it'll see if anybody comes into the drum door, and obviously anybody in Terrace is holding this. Generally, when you're defending Tea Room, you'll be holding drum, because you'll have the holes here and you'll have somebody in drum. Maybe playing around this area or playing around behind here. Um, and if you have this cam, you can just have somebody on the cam while you're holding it. And they can just ping them where they are, just tell you where they are. And you'll just get a freebie from it. For the final cam, I generally I'll put it in shrine up here. Just up there. Or you can even kind of jam it up there as well if you want. And this just sees anybody coming up shrine stairs towards site and coming to the tea room site door. Sometimes people will try and plant on like the door. Or like plant even in that behind that um, black like cabinet thing. So you may you may even be able to stop the plant, like see the planter from there. So yeah, and if you if you also like you can put a C4 below this door and watch this cam when people come through the door, C4 them freebie. So yeah, that's that's the three cams that I use for tea room. And now I'm gonna go on to the uh, exhibition site. Alright, so for exhibition, I am um, generally I'll I'll kinda do the same sort of vibe. I'll put like cameras to watch the way that people come to the objective. The first cam that I'll show you is in Shrine. Oh it's in Dragon really. And it's just kind of you can either put it underneath here like that, or just on top of these, like in that in these gaps. Generally, I'll, I'll always kind of put it underneath here like this, and it gets kind of hidden by the thing. And and the, you can see people coming like towards these stairs, coming down the stairs. You'll be able to see the legs if you put it a little bit lower down, like like on the wall there. It'll be able to see more, but it'll be less hidden. So that's kind of a, a up to you kind of choice. Um, or you can do the same thing and put them on top of here. Put I'll put it on top of like here, and it'll be less hidden, but it'll see more. Or another option is to put it behind the sort of shrine here, but these are they, these kind of cameras are more common, even on top of the bit as well. But they're more common and like so the more like checked areas. But that's kind of you generally what I'll do is I'll put that one. The next camera I'll put in drum, um, and the this same kind of idea is to watch when people come through drum towards terrace or towards site, and I'll just kind of jam it under here, yeah, like that. It's better if you get it like underneath the bar, the 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 pole, like the the drum. Like that, and you can see anybody in drum standing behind this, or like walking down the stage, you'll be able to hear them. Or if they're coming through this terrace door here, they'll be able to see that as well. This terrace door. The final cam, I'll use it to watch the the house stairs. Um, and generally, people like to put cams like in these cabinets or like under these chairs or like under these on this table. But I kind of just like to just jam it over here, jam it up in this corner, because. It looks quite hidden, and it's a room that like doesn't really get much traffic, so nobody's going to really check for it. And if you're getting, if you're over here getting like looking for a cam, you're not really going to check there. You're going to be sort of looking at the like normal areas, so it's just an area that won't really get checked. So I just, it, it tends to work out and tends to, to to do quite well, and you can obviously see the stairs and see people coming up the stairs. So that's all the cams for uh, house and uh, for exhibition. Sorry, I'm going to go on to the barbecue site now. Okay, so for barbecue. Um, generally the first cam I'll use in this restaurant here, and I'll, I'll literally just put it behind the side here, by the side of this here. If you can get it like, more more towards the back wall would be a bit better, but, like that. And the, the, the cam, if you put it a bit lower down than how I've just put it, like this. Like that, it'll see underneath the table, and um, it'll see into the bathroom, it sees into the site even, it sees all the way up towards these main stairs there. And the good part is that when you're standing up, the, the table block it, blocks it because it look, looks underneath the table. Obviously, if you're looking at it from this angle, it, it's not very hidden. But when you when you're in here, you're not going to be looking backwards, so it's it's not like an area that people are going to be looking at to be able to see it. So it tends to survive. The next camera I like to put is for delivery, and to do it, you need to come into drum, um, and you come come up to this corner here. You might want to get rid of the table by punching it a couple of times, and then you just deagle a hole in the corner of this room here. And you'll see there's like a cabinet below, and you just literally just put it on the cabinet. And then this can see into delivery, or into the pantry, sorry. 
Um, people will come through this door on the right down here. I can't move my mouse down enough to like ping it, but this door on the right, people will come through and start walking towards site. This there is restaurant straight ahead here, and that's obviously towards kitchen. So it's just nice hidden, and it's really hidden just to a really hidden cam to see and to, to see the pantry. Right, so the final cam, and I'll put it, I'll put it in Geisha. Um, and generally, I'll, I'll like, I'll use a different cam as the first one just to make it a bit different. So I'll put it underneath here. Um, you can generally just kind of put it underneath the table like that, and when people are standing up, they won't like notice it. Obviously, it gets a bit easier to spot when they're crouching and stuff, but. It just it'll it'll probably survive. Or you can use the same cam as the tea room cam as if you want to use the same one if you like that one better. So yeah, that's all the cams I'm gonna show you. If you enjoyed, drop a like and I'll see you in the next video.